Welcome, you guys. Can everyone hear me and see me? Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, this is so exciting. Forgive me for being a few minutes late. We were just on a very fun operations call, which is part of the juggle of every day. Um, this is going to be a really fun session to answer all of the questions that I've gotten about retinol, about the R45 day challenge. I have to tell you, this is the biggest R45 day challenge we have ever had in our last two years of doing this. We've had more people join, more people jump in, more people hashtagging, talking about it and getting ready for our big kickoff on May 6th. So today is a day all about answering what I have been seeing in your DMs and so much more. So relax, get cozy. I already threw my sweatshirt on. I was in a blazer um, on air a little bit ago. I'm like, we're getting cozy for this. The sun's starting to go down here. So bring the questions, nothing is off limits. I, I will get into some of the DMs that I've received, um, but ask away because this is your time talking about the R45 Day Challenge. So first things first, if you're going, what is the R45 Day Challenge? I don't even know what you're talking about in acronyms. Um, let me start there. R45, you guys, it's our number one skincare product globally. It is patented. We actually launched R45 um, before we launched Glow Pro, if believe it or not. And it has, to this day, I, we have sold millions of units worldwide of this product from Harrods in London to Sephora to Ulta. It is our number one skincare SKU when we look at overall volume because it works and it is a booster so powerful, you only have to use it twice a year, literally. Lazy skincare, who is in? Best beauty hack. Even if you haven't been taking care of your skin over the last year, while we've all been in quarantine, you use this and in two days, you wake up with the glow. Actually, I saw my sister in Austin. I don't know what it is, but day three, so like after two nights, you wake up and you get just this trademarked, R45 patented glow. And I saw Stacy and Austin. I'm like, you are R45ing, aren't you? I could tell you get this beautiful glow to the cheeks. Your skin looks amazing. Why? So let's start there. Retinol can be super confusing. So I'm going to break it down and we're going to talk about why in the world are there three phases of this? There are three different concentrations. Um, one of the questions I got asked most frequently was, can I use retinol if I'm pregnant? We do not recommend using uh, vitamin A which is another word for retinol while you're pregnant. Verdict is out on when you're nursing. We just, abundance of caution say, hey, just wait till you're done nursing. Um, lots of data shows that after you've had a baby, it's totally fine to use when you're nursing. So I'm gonna let that be your call for whatever you, whatever feels good for you. Um, I got the sweetest message from someone who's like, I'm about to start IVF in June, um, end of June, can I, start, uh, should I do my R45? I'm like, yes, hundred percent. This is a great time. Get through your boost. Your results last on average for six months. So I boost in spring to get my skin, like makeup optional summer ready. And then I boost again, as we all do together. Um, at the end of the year, so my skin looks really great for the holidays and, you know, pictures, family time. I don't have to think about it. So let's start with a little bit of education here, and then we'll get into questions over here. Okay. And let me just make sure I have all of my chat options open because there's a chat and a QA. Um, and then we'll get into some things. All right, so first I'm gonna show you this. This is a little triangle. Think of it like your food pyramid. We're gonna call it the retinol pyramid, okay? And let me show you what we're talking about. So I want you to think about your body, and I want you to think about topical vitamins, okay? Think about if I could see like rays of hands right now and I could see everyone's faces. Think about if you have a topical vitamin versus an oral vitamin. You take an oral vitamin every morning. Maybe it's a multivitamin, right? And you feel great. Well, your skin is the largest living organ of your body. And it ironically also needs vitamins. And it needs vitamin C during the day, like we talk about a lot. And then it needs vitamin A at night. So what I want you to think about in this scenario is what is vitamin A? Why are there so many different concentrations? The percentages are confusing. What percentage is this? What percentage is that? And I'm just reading your questions here. If you see me glancing down, I'm just trying to um, make sure that I'm 
answering everything here. Um, so let's break it down for this. All right. So this reverse pyramid starts like this. You have retinol. Okay, retinol. And then you have retinol. And then here you have retinoic acid. Okay, so if you guys in the chat, tell me if you know, what is the difference? Who knows the difference? Can you guys see? I heard Brittany just say, you don't see, you can't see it on screen. Can you guys see? Okay. Um, who knows the difference between each of these, right? Retinol and retinol. These are all exactly, Eliana, highly concentrated. Um, I'm, we're, I'm gonna blow your mind. Mikhail's like, not even sure, don't know what's happening here. Um, so here's what it is. When you look at retinol versus retinol versus retinoic acid, retinoic acid is prescriptive. You can only get that from a dermatologist. That's like retin-A, exactly, Julie. So retinol has to break down into retinol which breaks down into retinoic acid, okay? So I want you to think about that. And let's talk through how does that translate into your retinol? Because the question that I get asked the most often is what's the difference, right? Like how do I look at these different 1%, 2%, half a percent, what does it mean, okay? So most of the time, when you're looking at anything that's over the counter, it has to be one of these two. It has to be retinol or it has to be retinol. Retinol breaks down into retinol, which breaks down to ret retinoic acid. So here's pop quiz. Your body actually makes retinoic acid, okay? So as we age, just as collagen depletes, think of retinoic acid like the gasoline, okay, for your body. So that depletes with time. Vitamin C, SPF, those are things that you have to use every day because your body's not producing zinc oxide, right? For SPF, your body does make retinoic acid, which is very cool. So with retinol, a good dermatologist will either boost your retinol and you go through periods of time where you're using a lot, or it will kind of pulse a lower dose, okay? If you're someone like me who has really sensitive skin, R45 was a total selfish formulation because I couldn't use traditional retinol. It made my skin flake, dry, literally like within five days, I looked like a snake, even on a 0.05%. So retinol and retinol, this is anytime you see 1% retinol, 2% retinol in a store, it's one of these forms that has to break down into retinoic acid. So if you're younger, you have naturally more retinoic acid than when you're older. And I'm gonna blow your mind right now because 0.05% retinoic acid, retin-A, the generic name is tretinoin, okay? That is actually more powerful, okay, there we go, greater than 1% over-the-counter retinol. So remember, these you can buy in a store, this is prescriptive only. Why is that important? Not to nerd out on you, but if you guys love history and understanding, retinol was originally developed in the 70s by physicians and biochemists for acne, which is why over the age of 30, your insurance is like, we're no longer paying for this because we think you're now using it for wrinkles, okay? Not for breakouts. Um, so with that being said, the side effect of retinol, Retin-A, is intentionally designed for breakouts, which is why it's great for that. But the side effect is the skin smoothing benefits. So most clinical studies will say, I. I mean, if you take like a hundred different abstracts from clinicals, 26% wrinkle reduction in about six months, typically with retin-A, okay? Retinoic acid, retinoin. And what was so exciting and why we patented R45 is we were able to achieve a 49.5%, like wrap your mind around that, 49.5. That is double, not in six months, but in six weeks. So now you see why it's our number one seller and What's more exciting to me personally is there's no downtime and no negative side effects. So I can always tell how much someone knows about retinol if their first question is not, um, hey, what percentage retinol is it? It's really what kind. Because if you took 2% retinoic acid, your skin would fry off. That's prescriptive, right? Um, if you took 
1% retinol, retinol, not super impressive, right? So the best question, which is why I don't like to play the game of what percentage is this? We developed a new molecule, our incredible biochemist team, not me, our team. And that is a derivative, basically re-engineering the retinoic acid molecule because it was made for acne, really, really drying, right? So now it's paired and this think of it like a little lipid suitcase, right? That releases deeper in the skin instead of on the surface. So you don't get the same dryness, redness, and irritation, okay? So it is this blend. We took retinol, retinyl, and this re-engineered retinoid of retinoic acid. So you get all of the amazing benefits without the downtime. And I thought, okay, how do we explain how to not think about percentages because they're not apples to apples. 0.05% Retin-A is more powerful than 1% over-the-counter retinol. So you should look at the color. The retinol in its pure form, and I'm gonna nerd out for you, you guys, is this beautiful, think of it like liquid gold, people call it, okay? Pure form, you cannot bleach it. It's an ingredient you can't bleach. So what's really cool is if you start looking at the color and I brought with me 0.05% Retin-A, so you guys can see the color. Put it on the back of my hand here. And you guys can see, let me squeeze out a little bit more. Okay, look at this. So this is 0.05% Retin-A, okay? And now I'll show you phase one here. actually even more yellow than 0.05% retin-A. So this is a really great way, prescriptive R45, to be able to see that the concentration is right. So now let's look at phase two. So after you finish phase one, use it at night, two bumps of product, I'll show you how. Once it's empty, you recycle the container, then you advance to phase two. Now look how much more yellow phase two is. And you can see 50% stronger. That's phase two. So you have phase one, phase two, right? Then we're gonna to go to phase three, which will advance to 50% stronger. Why is that important? It's almost like walking. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Look at that. Look how beautiful, brilliant yellow phase three is. So you have phase one, phase two, 50% stronger, phase three, and there's your 0.05% retin-A. So really looking at the color, is a great indicator. So let me put like a white cream. Let's see if I can grab a white cream anywhere. I'll have to find one, guys. Oh, here we go. So you can see the difference here. It doesn't have to be neon yellow, but look at this. Okay, you can see. You wanna look for that yellow, that yellow color. It should at least be a little bit yellow. Great indicator that you're getting enough in there to do something. And then a really good dermatologist would start you like on a 0 0.05 and then a 0.1%. And then you would what's called titrate up. I do not use prescriptive retinol. I use R45 twice a year faithfully. Even on a 0.05%, my skin was like snake skin. So this step up, this step up system is what is incredible for getting beautiful results without the downtime. Just like you wouldn't run a marathon without training, right? You would start with, you know, three miles, five miles, work your way up. If you were weight training, right? You would start with five pounds and then 10 pounds and then 15 pounds. You'd move through, break through those plateaus. So if you've used retinol before and you're like, ah, my skin freaked out, maybe you started over here, right? Maybe your concentration was like, whoa, way over here. If you started here, what I call fairy dust amounts, right? Where it's like, what the heck? There's not even any retinol in there to do anything. I do not like it at all when brands do that. That is why I'm doing what I'm doing because it is truth and beauty. You can't bleach this ingredient. So if your retinol is white, you know, might be why you're not seeing the results that you want. So this step up system allows your skin to adjust along the way and your results never plateau. So super, super exciting. Um, let's dive into some of your questions because I see a lot of questions coming through. Um, is there such a thing as utilizing R45 too much? Would it draw out your skin if you use it every day for the entire 45 days? Nope. And even myself, I have really sensitive skin. Starting here, and again, remember guys, that is your prescriptive Retin-A. You're still starting with a good jump, but because it's in that lipid suitcase, it releases deeper in the dermis. 
doesn't start unpacking and the upper stratum corneum, the upper epidermis, and that's not where you need it to unpack. We need to unpack deeper in the skin. So if these were, for example, you know, the layers of your skin, it's not unpacking the retinol up here, it's unpacking the retinol down here where it can actually work. So that's really important. So you don't have the downtime with it. Um, can you use it with GlowPro? Absolutely. You can just take your GlowPro, aerate the garden, and then apply your R45. But let's talk about how to apply it. And um, you'll start with phase one, cleanse your face at night. And for people who are just jumping in and tuning in, um, we are doing our R45 day challenge. Everyone's ordering it this week and we'll get it home and start together next week on May 6th. So fun. And for everyone that's ordering today, you're getting a full size of our Radiance Rose Hip Seed Oil, which I am obsessed with, Self Magazine. I uh, voted this the number one face oil, all the glow without the grease, which is phenomenal. Rose Hip Seed is actually even better for breakouts than tea tree oil. So we'll talk about how to use that. But everyone's getting a full size of that, plus our really cute R45 Day Challenge chart. So you can just mark off your days, tape it to your mirror. It's super fun. If you're a checklist person like myself, it's very gratifying and satisfying. Cutest little perf cosmetic bag for summer, $85 worth of goodies. While supplies last, it's been very busy. Our biggest R45 Day Challenge yet. So thank you, thank you. Um, you'll be getting the face oil that I'll use during the day, your R45 that you'll use at night. It's kind of like a vacation for your skin because you can pause whatever else you're doing. I like saving money save those, go back to them once you're done. If you have to put a moisturizer on like the quench or Zen bubble before you go to sleep, which is part of your routine, put it on after your R45 because I want this to be the closest thing to your naked clean skin. So you'll wash your face at night and then you'll do a pump of the side that says A, that's your retinol. Then a pump of the side that is your B, those are your peptides. And they're housed in separate containers, you guys, because just like when you're baking, you want everything at max concentration, a lot of brands have to dilute down because, and then you'll just massage it in all over just like this. A lot of brands will dilute down their formulas because, and I would be using my both hands normally guys, but I have all my yummy product here, which I never waste. Um, there you go, done. Take it under the eyes. The only retinol you can enjoy on the eye, take it above the mouth as well. Beautiful. Um, to pack more into one formula, but you have to start sacrificing. Like you'll have to start pulling down your concentration of something to allow for concentration of something else, so keeping them housed in the separate containers. That's it, literally pump of retinol, pump of peptides, cocktail, go to sleep. Pump of A, pump of B, cocktail, go to sleep, that's it. Then you can put your moisturizer on top if you want. And then in the day, I'm obsessed with the Radiance Face Oil. You totally could use it at night. Um, naturally has vitamins A, C, and E. So beautiful glass container. I just take a few droplets of this. You can use it on clean, dry skin. You can cocktail it with foundation. A lot of people like to put it with the perfecter and you'll just press it into the skin like this and it gives you the most gorgeous, gorgeous glow. I had someone who just said they had really dry eyelids and it resolved the dryness on their lids, which I thought was a really great idea. And that's it, done and done, so easy. Hi everyone, um, I love it. You guys, I love all these comments, this is awesome. All right, so let's dive in. Um, can you use it too much? I do have girls that almost like an elliptical machine use their R45, use the R45, just once they get off, they start again, just like this, and that's fine. If you're over the age of 20, you should be doing R45 at least once a year. You start losing 1% of your collagen production between the ages of 18 and 20, so gotta supply the skin. If you are over the age of 30, gotta use R45 at least twice a year. And from there, either hold it your twice a year, if you wanna add it in one more time, I do have people that are like, my results are gonna go away, so they kind of elliptical machine it, whatever to each their own and all of our clinical studies, it really is using it that twice a year, it was able to maintain and your results lasted for six months. Why? Almost like filling up, you know, an empty glass of water, filling up the canteen. Can't do that with every raw material, but you can with this one. So that's why your results will last. Um, for, if you're just tuning in, I was just showing retinol in its pure form as yellow. You can't bleach that ingredient. So you can see if you're, if a, if a retinol that's a white cream, probably not enough in there to do anything. Look for that color because 0.05% prescriptive Retin-A is actually more powerful than 1% over-the-counter retinol, which is why I don't like to play the percentage game because it's not the right question. They're not apples to apples at all. So let's get into some of these questions. Here we go. Can you use R45 on dark spots from acne scars on your body? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, um, let's start acne in general. If I have a breakout, what I like to do is I take my prep pad because you know our prep pads with Glow Pro, Glow Pro 
kill the P bacterium that causes breakouts. Um, and then I'll glow pro over that little spot before it comes up. And then I'll put a, a drop of phase three of R45 phase three on the breakout and it just drinks into the skin. And it really helps to mitigate um, acne, which is awesome. And um, so you can spot treat with your R45, but for acne scars, we know that one of the best things to do is microneedling. A typical microneedling treatment is, you know, $600. And what I love about this is you can microneedle from home. So I use the body attachment head. And then what will someone tell you? They'll say, go put retinol on. Like right after you microneedle, even deep microneedling, retinol. So yes, for stretch marks and acne scars, which they're both a form of scar, if you will, because it's your body trying to make, um, new cells really quickly. That's why the texture is often different. It feels thicker to you like a stretch mark or a, um, an acne scar. So when you can break down some of that tissue buildup and then feed your skin with the retinol, amazing for stretch mark repair and acne scar. So really, really great, great question. Um, will it dry out your skin? It shouldn't. Um, I'll tell you, great question. Um, even 0.05% Retin-A, like we have here, 0 0.05, not 0 0.5, 0 0.05 for me is super drying, okay? So what I love about this system of stepping up is your skin doesn't dry out. It doesn't flake and get red. Like imagine if you started on phase three, it'd be probably too much for your skin, but because we step our way up, then it's not too much for your skin. It's just the right amount. So that's phenomenal. So you shouldn't get any dryness. Um, I have had people ask and say when they've done R45 during quarantine and they've been wearing a mask all day, I had someone say, I'm getting a little bit of dryness. This is like my fourth time to do R45. It hasn't happened before. If you are abrading your skin with, you know, wearing a mask and causing, you know, that kind of upper layer to abrade, um, if you feel like you're getting dryness, Remember that it is skin sloughing. So 99.9% .9 of people, I love it if I ever get any skin sloughing done in the right way like this. Um, so if you don't, that's okay. Um, but I'm just thinking through any message I've ever gotten of, hey, if, you know, did I get dry? You might. If you are wearing a mask and you have super sensitive skin and you're on phase three, but that is like probably 0.1%. If you do, don't worry. That's a great thing. You're revealing underneath the gorgeous, gorgeous skin that will last for six months and be phenomenal. So that's a really excellent question. Um, okay, question regarding the um, perfecter. Is it full protection from the sun? You don't need to add SPF from anything else and you can use it on your eyelids. The perfecter has um, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, no water, no water. So you want that true physical barrier sunscreen. Um, should you, do you, should you avoid the sun when you're using R45 and retinol? What's nice about this, because it's a deep release retinol, you actually don't have to avoid the sun, but I recommend using an SPF all year long. Why? Because you're revealing new skin. 90% of sun damage, of skin damage comes from the sun, sun damage. So it is really important, even 10 minutes of sun exposure in the car, which is why women tend to have more discoloration on this side of their face from driving. It's important. So whether you're using R45 or not, I really recommend using a sunscreen, looking for those two key ingredients. Um, can you use the peel during R45? You can. Um, I like to think of the peel as like taking the dirty car through the car wash, right? Just gets off any of the dead skin buildup. And then I think of Glow Pro as like popping the dent out of the side of the car, okay? This is also a pop the dent out of the side of the car moment because it's a deep release retinol that's going to exfoliate the skin, meaning optimize the cell turnover and so forth, which is one of the many benefits of retinol. And let's talk about those benefits, pore tightening, skin tone evening, firming, dark spots, fine lines. This is why 10 out of 10 dermatologists use, love and recommend retinol because it truly is like that holy grail ingredient that we should be using at night. So, so great question. Can you spot, Gabrielle says, can you spot treat with benzoyl peroxide if necessary? Um, can you spot treat, where did it go? Sorry, questions are coming up here. Um, can you spot treat with benzoyl peroxide? You can. So if you wanna use like an eight, 10, 5% BP 
on a breakout, I honestly use R45. I mean, you'll see me like with little yellow dots. If I'm having like a little, you know, hormonal breakout, that's fantastic. Um, so mentioned BHA and AHA while using retinol that it can, great question. Okay, so are there any ingredients that can negate the effects of retinol? Yes, there are some alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids that will bring down your efficacy of retinol. So without knowing the specific acid, whether, you know, lactic, glycolic or so forth, um, I like to avoid using any other active ingredients while I'm doing my R45 boost, just because you can start to play chemist in the back bathroom and not even realize it, that you're doing something that, you know, might take away from those benefits. So that's, I think, something to consider. Um, so I would just avoid your AHAs while you're doing R45 at night. If you want to do it in the morning and then rotate that way, I think that's a great, a great solution. But absolutely, if there's another serum or cream or something you just can't go to sleep without, you're welcome to put it on, but put it on after your R45. And as you saw earlier, literally a pump of each side, I just applied it to the skin, go to sleep. You can use it right after Glow Pro. That's perfect. Um, question is, would you use an exfoliant once or twice a week during your daily R45? and every other day with Glow Pro. So I use my Glow Pro every night and there are times that I do like a, you know, longer treatment and some that I do a, a shorter treatment, but it really is like aerating the garden before you plant your skincare seeds to help open everything up, drink it into the skin. So you can use your R40, I mean your Glow Pro every night when you're R45ing or you can use it, you know, 3 times a week. Uh, but any type of exfoliant that you're using, um I recommend probably no more than twice a week. And I would do a gentle exfoliant uh, while you're doing your R45. And that will help with that kind of deep exfoliation process. But if you don't use an exfoliator, that is perfectly fine too. Does it help with dark circles under the eyes at all? Great question. One of the things that I would say kind of one of the misnomers about dark circles is oftentimes we think that the skin under the eye is getting more purple. It's getting darker. Oftentimes what you're seeing is hollowness. So if you think about, you know, here's your eye. As we age, the skin starts to hang inside that ocular bone, right? So you get this kind of depression. So the idea is we want to build that volume back up like this so it's not hanging and sagging. And one of the best ways to do that is with GlowPro. So as you're gliding your GlowPro tool, you know, around the eye area, you can use the eye attachment head or the face attachment. You're helping to build up volume underneath that eye area. I go right underneath the lash line. And then when you're feeding it, the skin, those collagen boosting ingredients like retinol, like this form, you will get a natural um, brightening to the under eye area. And it's more because you're going from this to this. And that kind of trampoline type effect repairs some of the hollowness that you're seeing to really give that beautiful volume back to the eye area. But that's a great question, Eliana. Okay, um, Caitlin says she's 26 and was prescribed 0.05% tretinoin. So that's what we were looking at over here. Should I stop it and only use during, um, and only use R45? How often do I need a glow with R45? Great questions. Um, so 0.05%, that's right here. That's what I put on my hand right here. And I recommend pausing. If you have sensitive skin, for me, even four or five days in to retin-A, tretinoin, this is how R45 was birthed total selfish formulation because I knew how important it was to use retinol every night and my skin was too sensitive. And I didn't think it was right that you should have to go through flaking and redness and dryness. So we spent almost five years on this formula and have a patent on it. Our entire team, not me, not brilliant enough to uh, put together this incredible formulation. It was our entire team at our family's lab. And it was a real breakthrough, real breakthrough to have the first system that steps up, like think about it. That would be like you going to your derm and getting three separate concentrations of Retin-A at 200 bucks a tube. Like you're literally getting three separate concentrations that step up, which is how a good derm would prescribe it and kind of step you up. So I don't, I, I don't think you need to use your Retin-A while you're using your R45 um, simply because we're gonna jump right into that first phase and it's kind of overkill and Retin-A is more drying than this particular retinal molecule. But if you wanna go back to it in between boost, you totally can. Um, glow pro, you're going to glow pro at least three times a week. Truly guys, I just do like, even if it's a quick little, you know, just like all over really quick before I do my topicals at night, just so that they drink into my skin. Cause I don't like the feeling of knowing that they're sitting there. However, in all of our clinical studies, which I'll show you, 
they, we only used R45. So let me show you guys really quickly how awesome this is. So take a look at this. We're talking unbelievable results. In this clinical study, they were only allowed to use R45. Look at those hashtag wrinkles, the skin spots, pores, overall luminosity to the skin, unbelievable. And then look at this, and I chose this one because look at the eye area. First retinol you can use around the eye area. Really, really exciting um, because it does release deeper. Oh, this is fun. These, these are some awesome UGC images you guys have sent in with your R45. So I'll show some of these. These are your images. If it's one is yours, shout it out. Um, amazing. Look at the texture. Look at the glow. Look at that. Look at all of those, you know, the discoloration. Look how much smoother this is. Absolutely phenomenal, you guys. Oh, I love this. Remember we talked about how retinol was developed for acne. That's why, and she used with Glow Pro. That's why she had these amazing, amazing results. R45 with Glow Pro. Love that. So awesome, you guys. Um, Bev is asking if there's a phase four. We do have a phase four that we batch once a year and offer that on cue. It's not even on our website. Um, this is from some of our clinical studies. So awesome. Um, Roll Tide is asking if it makes her, it will make your skin burn. No, that's one of the things that I love about this product. Your skin will not burn. Look at that before and after. So awesome. One of my favorites. So two tough questions that we keep getting, maybe for some mm -hmm. new joiners yep. who are um, using R45 for all ages and breakouts during phase one. Yep. And then also using R45 during the summer and when you're in the sun a lot. Great question. So um, this, I like doing R45 now just because we're not out in the sun. However, because our retinol, everyone else in the market, they're using either retinol or retinol. Like, that is literally your only option, or you get a prescriptive. What I love is this is a brand new molecule. No one else has our triglo molecule patented, actually patented. So it releases different than any other retinol. Re-engineered this molecule that hadn't been touched since the seventies. And that's one thing that my family's lab is really famous for, new ingredients. So, you know, those funny names on the back of your packages, we make those ingredients file them with the International Cosmetic Index and they become a new raw material, something that we specialize in. So this is super exciting. And it's something that we haven't sold to anybody else and was real, a real catalyst in the beauty bio range. Um, so to that end, asking about retinol and breakouts and drying, this is why you can use it and still be in the sun. That's why you can use it around the eye area and the lip area. It's why it's not drying, even if you have a Fitzpatrick one skin type like myself, that's super sensitive. All of those things combined make it an amazing, amazing product for every single skin type. So if you're just tuning in after the age of 20, you should be doing the R45 boost at least once a year. After the age of 30, twice a year. And then after the age of, um, you know, in your 50s, you might wanna do it at a third time, but on average, and we tested women into their 80s, your results last for 45 days. And I have to show out you guys too, how adorable. So everything ships just like this. I love this. Our team is so creative. Inside Beauty by You, Outside Beauty by Us. And um, it also comes in this super cute, we just did these new bags. I love traveling with these. I put like my swimsuits and everything in here. Um, so everything will ship in that with your full-size radiance oil and your cute little cosmetic bag. Okay, so can you use the red light with R45? Yes. So the red light on Glow Pro, or if you're using a red light mask, think of it this way, guys. Um, oh, thank you, Natalie. That's so sweet. Um, red is for anti-aging, red LED. Blue is for acne. So if you ever see the blue light, that's for acne. And it's been shown to help kill the P bacterium that causes breakouts, kind of like our prep pads do the same thing. And then the red LED helps to stimulate collagen production in most studies 100 times more. So it's kind of like microwaving your results. So I like to glow pro my skin, then put my R45 on to really maximize those results. And I definitely have the red light on while I'm doing that, but that's a great question. Um, if you use an LED light mask and also Glow Pro, which should you use as your last step before applying any of your nightly treatments? For sure, Glow Pro. Glow Pro, your skin heals so fast. So think about this, guys. If you are um, 
aerating the garden, right? So imagine, imagine this is your skin, you're rolling your Glow Pro over, it's creating these tiny little vertical micro channels in the skin, okay? And then your skin, we wanna apply the topical so it can drink into the skin. Your skin heals so fast, like crazy fast. So what is important to do, think about when you get a paper cut. If it bleeds or it doesn't bleed, and obviously Glow Pro doesn't hurt, doesn't make your skin bleed, that's part of our patent. It stays exactly where it should. So deep microneedling, do in the doctor's office. That's where we started. Anything, you know, over half a millimeter in needle for deep stretch marks and so forth. But this is the perfect length at home. You cannot mess it up. And it's like aerating the garden so those ingredients can drink in 200 times more effectively instead of sitting on the surface of the skin. So I like to use it every night, then apply my skincare. Um, you can use it with R45. And hopefully that answered your question on um, how do you use those guys together? Okay. So let's jump into a few more. Um, how often do you need to change the microneedling heads? Every three to four months, almost like you uh, would a toothbrush or a um, razor, right? You get in the shower and you're like shaving your legs and then you finally change the head and it took you half the time, right? So you can still use your Glow Pro for, you know, whatever a year, however long, but you'll have a more efficient treatment if you swap the heads regularly every three to four months. So let me just show you guys on the back of my arm because I'm getting a lot of questions about this. I'm going to glow pro this like I'm using on, um, like I'd be doing my face, okay? And then I'm going to apply a cream. Let me see. Do I have one floating around here somewhere? Just a little, a little bit of cream. Perfect. Thank you, babe. Why do your nails look so amazing? <laughs> so good. Nice, nice. And so I'll do one little dot right here. Hello, come on out. And then I'll do one little dot over here, okay? But look at this. Look where I glow pro Immediately, this can drink into the skin, okay? Why? Because I've aerated the garden. Go watch it drink. Look what happens over here. It's still sitting on the surface. Can you guys see that? It's still sitting on the surface of the skin, literally. And this is on, you know, pillowcase, down the drain in your shower. I mean, this is so clear to me. If I pay $100 for a cream or my R45 or my rose hip seed oil, I want all of it to get into where it can actually work. So this is why almost like we use, we started using cleansing brushes as part of the cleansing step, like using Glow Pro on its own, phenomenal results, but it is part of the skincare routine. Like everyone should be Glow Proing before they put on any topical, topicals, even if it's just for two seconds, because everything drinks in so much more effectively. And you can start Glow Proing. And um, we have girls that are in there, you know, 16, 17, 18, that use Glow Pro just to help keep their skin clear because it's exfoliation and your skin will break out when you have a buildup of dead skin cells. You introduce, you know, your skin, sorry, it's gross, pumps out this lipid. Then you introduce bacteria from your hands or your phone. You got a breakout happening, right? So this helps to exfoliate vertically the skin and really keep your skin firm and clear and, and gorgeous. So um, Brittany says the nightly contains retinol, um, which is what I use every night while well, not on R45, same. Can you use any BHA and AHAs? Uh-huh, good. So she said, uh, while you're using the retinol. Okay, good. So if you're using um, the nightly, it is okay if you use your BHAs and AHAs. Just know that in general, there are some AHAs that do negate some of the effects of retinol. So if you're doing a booster like R45, I just stick with the booster. If you need to use an AHA or BHA, separate it from your routine. So you have, can you do your HA in the morning and then do your retinol at night? If you need to use them together, that's okay. You've done your boost. So the nightly is think of it like your boss, you know, R45 is your Boston marathon twice a year. And then your nightly is your, you know, three mile maintenance run or walk. That's all very aspirational for me. I'm not doing any of that, uh, but you can think about it that way. And that way, if you need to use for this condition, you um, said, if you need to use your HA, BHA, no problem. Know that you've got your boost. You're still getting benefits, but some AHAs can negate. It's okay. Separate them if you can. If not, you've done your boost. The nightly is good. If you knock it down, you know, 10 or 20% from what you might have had from a retinol potency perspective, you're it's okay. But that's an excellent, super sophisticated, love our skin to legs question. Um, I'm hearing, well. Thanks, Britt. Um, will R45 work on the neck or hands? We have a separate R45 for the neck. In fact, there's a, an amazing bundle right now on our website. You can save $50. 
when you buy them together. And I like to boost my face and my neck together. I'm going to be doing that. And also has a phase one, phase two, phase three. And retinol on the neck can be really drying. Why? There's no sebaceous glands on your neck, um, like on your face, which is why you've never seen someone with crazy acne on their neck. So your lips, your under eye area, and your neck all have very little oil glands, sebaceous glands. But these areas are heavy with them. And it's great. That's how our body is designed and it's fantastic. But that's why you'll feel crinkly under your eyes. That's why you know, you need a lip balm for your lips. It's always, you know, dry, cracking, peeling. And while you don't see someone with really crazy acne all down their neck, typically, um, because of that, since people get breakouts on their back, you have more sebaceous glands there. Uh, so retinol can not be as effective on the neck in general, which is why we created another compound that is more of an AHA compound um, that you can use together with this incredible, incredible, bamboo almost substrate that has like this beautiful elastomer kind of a bend and snap on the neck um so that it helps it prevent creases so i like to do the face and neck boost twice a year so definitely um look into that that's a great question debbie said you love the products yay started glow pearless october with r45 and your skin looks amazing makes me so happy thanks debbie you've added the cleanser moisturizer perfecter rosehip seed oil and zen bubble yay that makes me so happy awesome heather says this product works better than it sounds. Oh, skin looks incredible with no texture. You guys are going to make me cry over here. Um, Packaging is amazing, says Ronnie. Thank you. Is it only for acne prone skin? Not at all. Um, absolutely. R45 has a beautiful side effect of helping to clear skin, but it's not just for acneic skin. But if you do have blemishes, you're prone to blemishes, you'll love that side effect. Um, Karen says she's been using R45 for the past two years and loves it. Yay. Oh, best thing ever along with Glow Pro. I'm so happy you guys are using it that way. Um, great. Can a 13-year-old use R45 for acne? Um, I actually have Ben 10, my 15-year-old using R45. It's great for clearing the skin. So uh, are we prescribing it you know, for breakouts in that age group? Sure. Wrinkles? They don't have wrinkles uh, as a teenager, right? But absolutely, you can use it that way. And frankly, at the price point, it's less expensive than one tube one tube of prescriptive retinol, okay? And it's really interesting, you guys, because I remember when we um, sat down with one of our first retail partners, they were like, you know, you should be charging $400 for this set, or 45. I'm like, yeah, we should. Based on how expensive it is for us to make, you have three separate concentrations. But my goal was to make this something that was accessible to everyone because everyone should get to have access to this patent technology. And I think we should all save money where we can and twice a year is a boost. Can people use it more frequently? Sure. I mean, is it more helpful to wash your hair like 10 times instead of one? Not really, right? Which is why you don't need a glow pro for 10 minutes. Um, we, I get questions like, can you overglow? You don't need to do R45 really more than twice a year if you want to. And that feels right for you for healthy skin. Awesome. But all our clinical studies just say, hey, do it as a twice a year boost. These are all great questions. So we have a question. What is the deal going on with the R45 set right now? Um, and how to use the radiance with R45? Okay, good question. So we're saying, what is the deal? Questions are, what is the deal going on? Um, oh, yay, Jennifer said she just used her R45 last month. Oh, thank you. That makes me so, so happy, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, Ronnie, your question on your daughter, I would have her go through the whole boost because it's also preventative. Instead of just fighting and like playing defense as they come, it will really help clear her skin. So I think she'll love it. Keep me posted. Um, okay, so other question on the deal. So everyone that's ordering R45, and I have to say while supplies last because it's super busy on the website right now and we've been really busy, um, you're gonna get all of these goodies. It'll come in your beautiful bag. Actually, let me see how them right here. So it'll come like this in your beautiful box, just like this. And then you'll open it up. And then inside, you'll have your chart. Take this to your mirror, and it comes with a little pen. And we can literally check off every single day together. Super gratifying. The little pen comes included. Then you're also getting your cute cosmetic bag. This all comes together. You're getting your R45 set, and we'll start on phase one. Wash our face. Use that till it's empty. Then you'll advance to phase two, finish at phase three. Each phase gets 50% stronger. And then you're getting a full size of the Radiance Rose Hip Seed Oil. Obsessed. Self-magazine favorite. It's just been called in by another 
major magazine, which I can't announce until I know for sure, but super exciting. Um, and then it all comes in this awesome zipper bag that I use um, and repurpose for kids' clothes, swimsuits when I travel. It's awesome. Okay, so let's talk about, and that's an $85 value that you get for free. $85 value that you get for free while supplies last. So that's why it's been a crazy week. Um, and so glad you're loving it. All right, so Radiance Rose Hip Seed Oil. I cannot tell you how obsessed I am with this product. It is unbelievable. Rose Hip Seed, you know, I love natural ingredients. We're a Sephora clean brand. Rose Hip Seed is better for evening out the skin tone than probably any other ingredient that I know. This combined with the Seca and Zen Bubble, unbelievable. So what I love about this is you can use it three different ways. You can use it as almost a hydrating serum. And I'm using it in the morning while I'm doing my R45. You totally can put it on R over your R45 at night. I've done that before. Um, but you can use it as a serum all over. You can use it as a highlighter. So just taking a few drops and then just pressing it into the cheek. And then you're going to do the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, and then just above the brow. So you get this beautiful natural glow. Um, or you can add a few drops into your moisturizer and it just gives you the silkiest, most velvety texture. It smells amazing. And it's not fragrance. That's just the natural rose hip seed and omega. Love. So many face oils are like crazy. They are stinky and greasy. This is a nano emulsion formula. So if I put this in a pail of water, it would emulsify with the water, right? Other face oils, if I put them in water, they would just sit on the surface. So this is why I can snap right away. It's not greasy, it's just glowy. Not all the glow without the grease. You will love this. You can even put a few drops into your foundation if you wear foundation to give you that gorgeous glow. You can put it in the perfecter. I've had a lot of girls tell me that they just put a couple of drops in their um, SPF perfecter and it's beautiful. Um, okay, so that's the deal for everyone who was asking. It's amazing. And I hope that I'm hoping supplies will last all week to get the Radiance face oil in the bag and the chart. I will keep you posted because it has been busier. So we are exceeding the number of people that are jumping in as quickly as they are. So if we end up losing inventory early, I will let you know. Um, but it's super easy to use. and 10 out of 10 dermatologists recommend and use it, use themselves retinol. This is why this is the most important ingredient. There is, you know, watermelon seed and all these, that's great, but everyone agrees, even FDA perspective, which is why your insurance won't pay for it after the age of 30, retinol, 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 it's the most important thing. Okay. So, um, oh, that's so sweet. I love it. And yeah, you guys totally leave reviews as well. If you love it, you've used it. Um, Karen says a hundred out of 10 recommend you using R45 for the last two years and you love it. Best thing ever with Glow Pro. Thank you. Um, that makes me so happy. So someone says, do you have anything um, that helps prevent stretch marks for pregnant women? Yes. Let me tell you from experience, your, our skin, when it's not given extra um, elasticity promoting ingredients, uh, will create these micro fissures or tears. Your, a stretch mark is actually an amazing thing that your body quickly spins, think of like a spider web, right? So that your skin doesn't rip, right? So as your skin is stretching, your body is like, ooh, spider web, like making a stretch mark to literally make extra skin to help compensate for any growth, especially when it's rapid growth. So one of the, and with my son, I had, very rapid growth. I would show them to you. I've been using um, my Glow Pro. So the stretch marks, even years old, um, are not visibly apparent unless they were like in person. Um, but he, our, my last month of pregnancy, he grew in four weeks. I wasn't even, I like plateaued. I didn't gain additional weight, but my stomach grew at least three inches. He was like straight out eight pounds and was almost three weeks early. So because of that, um, and I tried like aloe vera, all of these cocoa, but no. And I ended up with some stretch marks and you know what? They're your war wounds, your mommy marks. And it's fantastic. I have used my glow pro on them because to each their own, if you love them, embrace them, or want to work on them, whatever feels good for you. Um, but what I wish I would have had then was our sculptor body cream. 
because it has this amazing ingredient called lipocare that actually works with the fatty acids to help break down so it's more even. And it also gives you, you can feel it in the formula, um, this beautiful collagen-like substrate that really helps with elasticity. So I love our Radiance body oil and it's amazing. It gives you incredible glow and vitamins A and E and um, the apricot oil, but it's not gonna give you the same elasticity protection um, that the sculpture cream does. So I highly recommend the sculpture cream. I don't know if we're sold out or have any of the jumbos left on the website, but they are awesome. Um, and if you guys missed the jumbo cleanser, I think we're out of stock. Not sure if we're back in stock, but um, you guys asked for a super size. So that's a great one if you want to grab it. Um, Gay, Natalie says that she loves the sculptor and the body attachment head. I love using those together. Great question. Um, but nothing is better for repairing stretch marks if you want to repair them than microneedling because it helps to break up those um, you know, tougher kind of tissue and then repair them. And you can put R45 even directly on top, retinol is so good on the body after you microneedle. Um, so if you have a little leftover, do it on the back of your hands, do it on, if there's a you know, stretch mark area, um, that's a great question. Okay, lots of questions coming in. I will answer a few more and then um, we'll jump. Do I always do vitamin A at night and vitamin C in the morning? Yes, um, I do. Vitamin C is great for prevention against free radical damage. And then vitamin A is amazing for repair at night. Retinol is vitamin A. Um, for those that are just tuning in, remember that not all created equal. Retinol breaks down into retinol. So when you see like 1% retinol on packaging, that breaks down into retinoic acid, which is why 0.05% prescriptive retinol, Retin-A, is everyone just uses the word retinol, but there's so many different forms. Um, 0.05, not 0.5, 0.05% Retin-A is actually more powerful than 1% over-the-counter retinol. So instead of trying to understand what type and what form and 1%, 2%, honestly, just look at the color. You can't bleach it. So you'll see here's 0.05% Retin-A. Then you have, this is phase one of R45. So it already starts super yummy concentrated. When you're done with that, recycle it, move up to phase two, 50% stronger. You can see the yellow color increase then 50% stronger on phase three. And you'll just see that titration, just like birth control pill, right? Like steps up and then you go down to the sugar pill. This steps up. Uh, think of, you know, your skin's the largest organ of your body. Think of when you do um, Invisalign. Why is it that every two weeks they put you on a new tray? I don't know. I don't know why in our studies, it takes about two weeks to go through each phase. So two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, just go until the end of the bottle and then recycle it and move on. It's okay, if, you know, plus or minus a day, everyone's surface area is different. Um, I don't know why that was the magic period of time where your skin started a plateau and then you advance and then you advance again. It just makes so much sense. Just like you wouldn't run a marathon without training. If I'm sculpting an arm, I'm gonna get five pounds weight and then plateau, then move to 10 pound, 15 pound your skin reacts the same way. And that's, in my opinion, been the challenge in the industry is people putting too much on their skin, the skin freaks out or not enough and it doesn't do anything. So, you know, if your retinol is, you know, a pure white, you, you can't bleach retinol. Here it is in its pure form. So just look for that color. It's, it's important. It doesn't have to be like neon yellow, but it does need to have that. And um, so it, retinoic acid, since your body makes it, doesn't make like zinc oxide, but that is one ingredient that it makes. It's almost like filling up the empty glass of, of water. So you can do a boost like this, a good derma would start you on a you know, 0.1, then a 0.5, da, da, da. Um, that titration process, just like the step up we've talked about is the best for your body. And because you make that retinoic acid naturally, your results typically last for about six months. So um, using it at night, your body, and if you've heard of like your circadian rhythms before, not to nerd out over here, um, but your body naturally releases like human growth hormone and all of these things naturally. So you want to kind of feed your skin, let it feast on these yummy natural ingredients, right? When it's starting to release, if you're in natural circadian rhythm cycles, typically that's around 11 PM at night to about 2 AM. Um, and now it has everything that it needs. Almost like when you do a protein shake right after you work out, right? Your body has what it needs to really produce that beautiful, yummy skin, kind of an extra little power boost. Um, okay, new to Beauty Bio, she wants to join the R45 Day Challenge. Um, which microneedling tool you should get? Yeah, so um, I love, there's a lot of different colors and patterns. Um, so you can, you know, Sephora, Ulta, Neiman's, Nordstrom, sometimes you'll find different patterns and colors that we've done exclusively um, there. 
on our website. If you want to get the standard white tool, um, fantastic. There are different versions that we have. Sometimes we'll do like little minis of different products you can try. So if there's one that has maybe um, like our vitamin C serum, that might be a good one because then you have your morning vitamin C and then you have your vitamin A at night. Um, so take a look. Our team can send you a few links as well. Oh, it looks like they just send one that has, oh, awesome. There's a Glow Pro bundle that includes our 45. Thank you to our amazing team. That is awesome. Like mind reading over there. Um, okay, great. So I'll answer just a couple more questions, guys, and then we'll jump. Everyone's been so sweet to spend some time with me today. Um, let's see. Can, can you speak briefly to the Hair Glow Pro tool? Yes, I will. So I cannot believe how massive our Glow Pro Scalp tool has become for the brand. And that is 100% because of you. Thank you um, for spreading the love, sharing the love. I see your DMs. I love them. I'm so thankful for them. Thank you for your images that you send. It's amazing. Here's what happens when you're, and I don't have a scalp tool here, but I'll just show you. The scalp attachment's a little bit broader and it's designed specifically for um, the scalp area has kind of cushioned flat. Oh, thanks, you're amazing. What in the world? Um, here you go. So it's a separate attachment. If you owe Glopo, you can get the head. Um, if not, there's a set that comes with it and um, it fluxes like this, never gets tangled in your hair. This is an area, kind of these spots that have totally filled in for me since I've used this. After I had kids, they were like, what? Empty. And maybe there's an area that you didn't love. As we age, our skin doesn't stop here, guys. Your scalp goes all the way around and needs collagen. So just like your face needs collagen for volume, your scalp depletes in collagen. Your hair volume is affected because you start to have hair loss. There's an, I've never seen someone, and tell me if you have, that has moved on you know, to the other side of the veil and has like hair down to her waist that is Rapunzel super thick, right? Doesn't happen. Why? Hair loss happens as we age because we lose collagen. This stimulates collagen on the face and the scalp. So you can do the entire head. You can just spot treat. If you have your hair back in a ponytail and you're starting to see, if you can see your scalp through it, and I've been religious about mine, so I cannot, but if you can see your scalp through here when your hair's in a ponytail, you've already started that process. So before waiting until it's not there or postpartum hair loss or whatnot, because I lost so much after babies, this is a great way to stimulate and sweet Hada of Hada Beauty like blew this up for us and so grateful for everyone that's shared and talked about it. And then the topical, we talk about Aridity in the Garden that I like to use after is our Healthy Scalp Serum. And that is a minoxidil alternative. Minoxidil is super chemical, not great. Um, it is a totally clean formula, weightless, it's gorgeous. And you just put that onto the, is there a scalp serum somewhere, Macy, by chance? Yeah. Um, I'll show you, it feels amazing. In fact, when the girl's scalp is dry, I even just put it on when we went to Hawaii, they were like, will you bring the scalp serum? I'm like, yes. Um, so you can see it has this great little, here you go. And then you just run it through, or you can just spot, treat wherever it is that you're treating. Clean hair, dirty hair, dry hair, wet hair, doesn't matter. Feels amazing, fragrance-free, so weightless, so gorgeous. But just like if I didn't put a moisturizer on my face, my face would be dry. If I didn't use retinol, I will get wrinkles, period, and stop. If we're not feeding our scalp, this is like skincare for your scalp. Skincare for your scalp. If we're not feeding our scalp, our hair will thin, break dry. There's some amazing before and after images you guys can check out on our website. Maybe someone can throw, oh, perfect, throw the link up. Um, it's phenomenal. And I have never seen results like this. Um, I don't know if you, we've had some amazing press and I was part of an article last week that in our launch October to today, the velocity that we've had as a brand, 100% is because of that incredible science all the clinical studies, it grows 50% fuller hair, 50% fuller hair, clinically proven after using that system together. So really, really powerful and a lot's happening in the beauty space with scalp and scalp care and all the dry shampoo and buildup and everything that we're using that is really so bad for our scalp. They're all made of starch. It sucks the oils out of our scalp. We'd never put that on, on our face. Like, why do we put it on our, our scalp? So another conversation for another day um, but I'm so pumped to do the R45 day challenge together. You guys, it has been an amazing week. I love our glow community so, so much. I'm so thankful for you for all of your love, for your support, for 
trusting us with your skin and we'll be forever grateful for this amazing skin intellect community that we've we've built and we really are changing the industry and being so disruptive and helping people to pause and ask questions like hey what color is your retinol what's you know what does that mean it's not just about throwing a percentage up like what kind of retinol is it and let's not have the junk in it and let's keep the good stuff in and the bad stuff out and it's moving the needle in a in a material way so thank you guys um love you send me messages if you guys have any other questions or thoughts um, we answered and covered a lot today. So yes, wear a sunscreen. Um, yes, you can use R45 if you're nursing, but that's at your discretion. I don't recommend using it when you're pregnant. Um, keep doing your vitamin C, vitamin A at night. You can use the Radiance, Radiance Rose Hip Seed Oil, your $85 worth of goodies that you're getting um, with every order. I'm using that during the day while we're doing the R45 day challenge and you'll have enough. It lasts for months and months, unless you're like me and drink it. Um, but Love you. Love you guys. Go with Fiona. Love you. Socorro, um, Ronnie, Deb, Karen, everyone. A huge, huge thank you so very much. And um, keep me posted. I want pictures. I want before and afters. I want to see everyone marking off their charts. We're going to do it together. It's just so much fun to be a part of community that we can do this. And I've heard people say that they're beauty bio bros that their spouses significant other boyfriend friend are doing it with them too and that just makes it so much fun so i love you big you guys and um keep messaging keep me in the loop and have so much fun on our spring 2021 our 45 day challenge together love you guys bye